students class 4 how are you all doing i hope all of you are doing great welcome you back in my geography classes in the last video we discussed about the satluj basin we get to know about the location of the satluj basin we also get to know about the states that lies in the satluj basin we went to know about the Bhakranangal Dam which has been built on the Satluj River and about the Indira Gandhi Canal which starts from the Satluj River. As we all know that the Northern Plains are divided into three basins. The number one, the Satluj Basin in the west, the Ganga Basin in the middle and the Brahmaputra Basin in the east. In the last video, we already discussed about the Satluj Basin. Today, we will discuss about the Ganga Basin. So let's get started. Now the Ganga Basin, the river Ganga originates from the Gangotri Glacier in the Himalayas. River Ganga. This is River Ganga. You can see in here in map. Also, I have drawn the River Ganga. We will come to here afterwards. First, let us understand here. So, River Ganga originated from the Gangotri Glacier. Now, here it was known as the Bhagirathi. We do not call it as River Ganga. Here it is known as Bhagirathi. Now when the river Bhagirathi, it was coming down the mountain slopes at a very high speed. Here it is joined by several other tributaries like the Mandakini and at Devaprayag. It is joined by Alaknanda and from here the Bhakirati is known as the river Ganga. As we can see the river Ganga originated from the Gangotri glacier. So here it was known as Bhagirathi. So as it was coming down the slope here it was joined by Mandakini that is a tributary and the Devaprayag it was joined by Alaknanda and together they formed the river Ganga. Now, the river Ganga, after reaching Rishikesh, it enters the northern plains at Haridwar. So, at Haridwar, we can say that now the river Ganga reaches the northern plains. Rishikesh, Haridwar. So now the river Ganga enters the northern plains. This is river Ganga. Now river Ganga after reaching the plains it flows very slowly. Here river Ganga is joined by some tributaries. So let us know about the tributaries of river Ganga. Tributaries of river Ganga. So after it reaches the plains, now the movement of Ganga becomes very slow. Now here the river Ganga is joined by many tributaries. The most important and the main tributary is Yamuna. It is the main and longest tributary. Do you know that the state of Delhi is situated on the bank of river Yamuna. Now river Ganga meets Yamuna at Alaba and Together they form Sangam. 
Here we can also see that another river which joins with river Ganga and Yamuna is river Saraswati and together they form the Triveni Sangam. And this is a very holy place, very important place of religious importance for the Hindus. For the Hindus, this one is river Yamuna, which is the main and the longest tributary. So the river Ganga meets Yamuna Talaba and they form Sangam. The place is known as Sangam. There they are also joined by river Saraswati and together the three of them form the Triveni Sangam, which is a very holy place and a place of religious importance for the Hindus. Now we will see that when the river Ganga reaches the plain, many other tributaries join the mainstream other than Yamuna. Now the other tributaries that joins the main river of Ganga are the Ghagra, the Gandak, Kosi, Gomti, Chambal. So which are the tributaries that joins the river Ganga like Ghagra, Ganda, Kosi, Gomti, Chambal. Let us see here. This is Chambal. Here is Kumti. Kagra. Gandak. One more tributary is there which joins the river Ganga near Patna. That is Son. Now many of these tributaries, they join the river Brahmaputra after passing through Bangladesh. Now, so what we can see that river Ganga, after reaching Haridwar, they flows from Delhi and then they went to Uttar Pradesh and then they reaches Bihar, right? Where the tributary of Son is actually meeting the river Ganga. Now, after reaching Bihar, from where it goes? After reaching Bihar, the river Ganga flows towards southwest and, and it reaches West Bengal. Now, what happens after reaching West Bengal? Now, after reaching West Bengal, here we can see that the river Ganga get divided into several distributaries or several branches. But the two main important branches into which the river Ganga gets split, they are the Hooghly and Pod. So, the two main branches, the river Ganga splits into after reaching West Bengal is the Hooghly River and the Pogd. Now Hooghly River is the main branch of River Ganga which flows through the state of West Bengal the capital of West Bengal that is Kolkata is situated on the bank of River Hooghly. Like we have read about Yamuna, here we are also knowing about Hooghly that Kolkata is situated on the bank of Hooghly. Now, after reaching West Bengal, so the river Ganga gets divided into two main branches Hooghly and other one is Poddu. Now, what is Poddu? Poddu is another name of river Ganga. 
when river ganga enters bangladesh after entering bangladesh till here it is known as river ganga now after it enters bangladesh the name changes to potto here it is joined by the river brahmaputra that we will discuss in the next video where we, when we will discuss about the river brahmaputra so what you understood here that after reaching west bengal the river ganga gets divided into several branches or distributaries but the two main branches into which the river ganga splits are the hugli river and the poddu now let us know about the states that lies in the ganga basin the states that lies in the ganga basin are uttar pradesh bihar west bengal these are the three main states from where the ganga river flows but also it flows through delhi as we know the tributary yamuna flows through delhi and also jharkhand here also the tributary of ganga that is the punpun river flows through jharkhand so we can say these are the states that lies in the ganga basin so in today's video what we learned we learned about the location of the ganga basin we learned about from where the river ganga originates that is the gangotri glacier in the himalayas we also get to know that where the river ganga enters the northern plains which are the main tributaries of river ganga we also get to know about the branches into which the river ganga it's divided into or the river ganga splits into after reaching west bengal that is the hugli river and the poddu river we also get to know that poddu is the other name of river ganga when the river ganga enters bangladesh after reaching bangladesh the name of river ganga changes to poddu we also get to know about the name of the states that lies in the ganga basin so what you will do now you will read the pdf that is already provided in the description box do read your books read in between the lines if you have any suggestion or any problem you can comment in the comment box given below in the i button you can find the previous videos on this chapter you can just click on the i button and you can watch the video if you have missed the video if you like my content and my video do hit the like button if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and do hit the bell icon for further notifications of my upcoming videos till then stay tuned for my next video on the brahmaputra basin take care and stay safe thank you mm -hmm.